What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. I don't think I have ever been more excited about a series of fall releases than I am right now. Now, if you've watched this channel at all, you know I am huge on Destiny. I am super hyped for that game. That game is coming out in just five short days, and I, for one, I can't wait. I love the alpha, I love the beta, I played a ton of both, and I really can't wait to get my hands on the full retail release of that game. But the crazy thing about this kind of fall, winter or area, or this lead up to the holidays, is the amount of huge game releases that I am really looking forward to. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor actually isn't on a lot of people's radar, but I'm a big fan of the Lord of the Rings franchise. I think it's a lot of fun. The world is fun to explore. And this game, from everybody who's kind of done a preview on it, People are gushing about this game. They say it's going to be like the the big game, like the sleeper hit of the holiday season. I'm really looking forward to it. Forza Horizon 2 is coming up, I think, on September 30th. I'm really looking forward to that, too. Playing a new racing game on my Xbox 360 and my Xbox One. You know, I, I like the Forza Horizon series. I think it's a little bit more fun than just playing them straight up sim racing games. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Super Smash Brothers. Now I'm not even a big Super Smash Brothers fan, right? But being able to play that game with the Beastly Thoughts show crew, I know there's gonna be a ton of hilarious stuff happening inside that game. So I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to that just for playing it with friends. Then we got Sunset Overdrive, which is an Xbox One exclusive. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, I really liked Ratchet and Clank. So seeing those guys get a hold of kind of a brand new and fresh world, this game just looks like a lot of fun. It looks like they've really distilled the fun factor of games and kind of combined it all into this one game. It looks like it's just gonna be an awful, awful lot of fun. Then after that, we got Civilization Beyond Earth. I don't even have a PC currently hooked up. I'm gonna have to pull my PC out of the closet because I'm a big Civilization fan. And uh, while I do hope this does come out for the Mac eventually, I don't know if I can wait because I love Civilization. And getting that, getting that franchise into space, I think is gonna be a lot of fun. And then let's not forget about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in November, that game. All right, so I started off pretty cool on Advanced Warfare. I saw what they were doing with the the exosuits and the boost jumping, and I was like, oh man, that looks an awful lot like Titanfall. Plus we got Destiny, and that's got like those big jumps, and like kind of all these games are starting to look kind of the same, but as I've seen the multiplayer, as I've seen more people playing the multiplayer, as some of that stuff has been explained to me, I'm like, you know what, this could be a really cool take on Call of Duty. Very, very different from any other Call of Duty we've played, and that might be a real refreshing change. Assassin's Creed Unity, I, I still like the Assassin's Creed games. Uh, I'm really hoping to see something really special on the next gen consoles with all the crowd stuff and the climbing around and the sneaking about, being an assassin. I think they got a real opportunity here to make that series really fresh. Next, we got the Halo Master Chief Collection, and I've played all of those games before. When that that first got announced, I was like, oh, what's the big deal? It's you know, it's all the old Halo games. But as I've kind of thought about it, I'm like, I really wouldn't mind playing some Halo Combat Evolved online. I wouldn't mind playing some Halo 2 online again. So all that stuff, it's kind of coming back around. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Let's do the Halo Master Chief Collection. Then we got Dragon Age Inquisition coming out November 18th. And I am super hyped for that game. Playing a little Dragon Age, getting really into a good RPG, that's always a good time. And then after that, we got a little Big Planet 3. I mean, all these big holiday releases coming up. It's just, it's almost too many games to play over this period of time. Uh, I'm sure some of this is, for me, is gonna spill over into next year. So let me know what you guys are really thinking about in the comments, what you guys are really looking forward to in the next few months down in the comments section below. Hit that like button if you like this video, hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.